Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you really quickly with a very short Dollar Tree haul. Um, I am sitting on my bed as per usual because I am being lazy. It is nine o'clock at night and I just got back. I actually went really quick to um, grab some milk for my son and Dollar Tree's right next door, so, and he just took something. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. But before I show you the Dollar Tree stuff, I want to show you real quick, um, if you guys have been following my hauls, you know that I've been um, catching some really good um, clearance at my local Walmart. Well, last week they had a makeup clearance of like the Maybelline and um, I can't think of the other brand. Oh, jeez. It was Maybelline and another brand. Oh, Lord Jesus. Um, I can't think of the other brand. Oh, like Wet n Wild and another one, Revlon, I think. This week, they had another little stash that they're clearancing out. Um, they had more uh, Maybelline, but this week they had um, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, and they had L'Oreal, CoverGirl, and I think that was it, but they had a bunch of CoverGirl. Most of it was CoverGirl, like the, the pressed powders, the um, concealers, the lipsticks, the eyeliners, the mascara. I mean, you name it. They had it on clearance um, for about 50% off, I believe. Um, so I went ahead and picked up one more thing. I picked up this um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Um, I should have turned the light on. It's not letting me turn the light on anymore. I'm so sorry, you guys. Okay, good. It's focusing. But this is the foundation. I love the little pump on the top. That is so convenient. Um, I got it in the shade W3 Nude Beige. And I did try it today. When I got home, I washed my face and I applied it. Um, it's very light coverage. I wouldn't say full coverage, but it is buildable, if that makes any sense. Um, looks okay. I thought, since it was part of the Lumi line, that it was going to be, um, you know, a little bit, um, iridescent or give me some type of glow, but it really didn't. It was a little bit dewy, which was nice. So, um, this was on clearance for $5. The original price, I believe, was like $10.99 or something. Um, something to that, uh, to the tune of that. Um, so yeah, I got that. And then this was not part of the makeup, obviously, but I was going to buy, um, some face wash, my normal face wash that I normally get. It's an Equate version of, um, the apricot scrub and I love it and it's only two bucks. But as I was browsing, t you know, to, for that one, I ran into this one. This is the Garnier, um... Garnier Skin Active, the Gentle Sulfate Free Cleanser. It says gently foams to remove oil, impurities, and makeup for soft, healthy looking skin for all skin types, even sensitive skin. And it says no sulfates, oil, soap, alcohol, or fragrance. Um, this was normally, I want to say like eight something, eight and some change. They had it on clearance for. 450 I believe and this is a pretty big bottle this is 13.5 fluid ounces so what I did is I put it in my in my cart and then as I was driving you know driving as I was shopping around um, I googled it on my phone and it actually has pretty good reviews um, a lot of uh, mixed um, types of skins um, a lot of different skin types sorry <laughs> A lot of different skin types that uh, reviewed and I mean it had very very good reviews so I decided to go ahead and pick it up and I also needed a new moisturizer for my face I'm just about out and the good thing about this is that it came with this tiny little sample of the Garnier skin active antioxidant super moisturizer it's called moisture bomb and it's this little guy right here it is just a little sample but you know it'll at least let me try it. It is a moisturizer, so that's what I need. And it's 0.2, yeah, 0.2 fluid ounces. So I was pretty happy with that, that it came with that little sample and it was only 450. So got that. So moving on to Dollar Tree, I went to Dollar Tree for um, some 
uh, Motrin or ibuprofen and then um, I got some Unisom uh, for sleep so but I've already put that away um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other things that I picked up they were about to close so I really didn't have much time to look around so um, first I got these scunchy 24 piece no damage um, larger size hair hair ties excuse me and as you can see they're very very big they're bigger than the average size and they're thick and they seem to have a lot of resistance which is good they're not loose so I thought that was an awesome deal for scunchy for a dollar and then you get 24 because even the goodie um, package at Dollar Tree I think you only get like maybe 10 maybe I'm not really sure and I mean for a dollar I just feel like you can go to Walmart and pay another dollar or another two dollars and get you know four times as much so I thought this was an awesome deal and me and my daughter go through these like crazy so I got that and then I was just watching um, Melissa P581 uh, she did a haul and I saw these uh, items from Beauty Benefits They've had these items in and out of Dollar Tree like they've had them and then they you know They sold out and then they didn't have them anymore and then they brought them back and so today I saw that they brought them back to my Dollar Tree and I thought that was so um, Cool that I was just watching her channel and she had hauled a whole bunch of beauty benefits stuff And I was like, oh cool. I want to go see if my Dollar Tree has beauty benefits and I wasn't planning on going to Dollar Tree Which is a weird thing. So I'm actually glad that um I ran into some beauty benefits products. This is a silky, silky bronzer in the shade Biscotti. And it just looks like that. Normally I don't wear too much bronzer. Sometimes I will, um, you know, in lieu of blush, I'll put bronzer on. But the reason I bought this is because I have a shade of lipstick that doesn't really go with my pinkish brushes, I mean brushes, blushes and I needed something more like sort of like brown you know darker so that's what I picked this up for um, I saw this this is new this is Suavite Heavenly Vanilla and it smells amazing so I went ahead and picked up a bottle um, just to try um, the other night I was uh, painting my nails and I didn't realize that I put the uh, bottle of nail polish I put it like right here. This is a Tempur-Pedic mattress, so it doesn't, it's very firm. So I put the nail polish here and I didn't realize that I didn't close it. I was all done with my, you know, painting my nails and I just put it here until a commercial came on because I think I was watching like Housewives or something. So I put it there and I, I thought when a commercial comes on, I'll go put it away. Well, my son was laying next to me and he grabs it and he spills it everywhere. I washed it and it did not come out and yeah that he pretty much wasted all of the nail polish I'm glad I got one good use out of it I think I hauled this the other day it was the Revlon nail polish that I got on clearance but oh well um moving on the last thing that I found at Dollar Tree this was really neat this is a uh, shea butter hand cream and it's in the scent French pear I mean fresh pear and you get uh one ounce but I thought it was really cute that it's pear shaped so super cute and it smells pretty good and it's not the best lotion but it's not like all watery like normal Dollar Tree lotions but I thought it was super cute I saw these at the register and I could not pass it up they had um, a pear they had an apple and they had what else did they have it's a pear and apple I want to say it was a pineapple, but I don't, I can't recall. I didn't have time to look at all of them because the line was moving up. So I just grabbed the pear because I love anything pear scented. Um, and it also has shea butter in it. So um, let me see if I can open this for you. This is going to be difficult. Um, let's see. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm moving you a little too much. So it twists off like this. And then it's got this little, uh, what do you call it? 
this little thump of it out of there to God, you guys, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done this haul on my bed. Look how gross that nail polish looks. Let's see. Okay, got it open. So I took that off. And that is the product. So as you can see, it's not too bad. It's not watery like most lotions that you buy at Dollar Tree. But it's not like the best lotion in the world. But it does smell. Mm, it smells yummy. It smells like It definitely does smell like fresh pear. So anyways, guys, that concludes my haul. I will try not to film on my bed anymore until I change my sheets. And these are actually clean. I did throw them in the washer to see if it would come out and it didn't. So that's going to stay there forever and ever. But I put it back on my bed because this is my favorite um, little comforter here. But I'm so sorry about that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.